Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're looking at a tart pitch that I've been experimenting with the past couple of weeks. It will let you have an open shelter that you can have a campfire out front to do your cooking. And if the weather starts to turn, you can close it up and make a tent out of it. It's fast, it's efficient, and flexible. You can set it up out in the open with a trekking pole or a stick, or you can do it right in the middle of a densely crowded forest with not a lot of room. And it's really well suited for heavy snow. So with that, welcome to Endurance Room. I've got both a 10 by 10 and a 15 by 15 with me. We'll take a look at both versions plus a second variation with a 10 by 10. With the tarp folded in half, at the fold is the center ridge line. It's reinforced on this tarp. This is the Helicon Tech uh, Super Tarp, 10 by 10. Really nice tarp. Got a hank of paracord. We've got a bowline wrapped around the tree, fed back through itself. Quick release knot. Right down along the tree will be your door. So if you set this up with a larger diameter tree trunk, you'll get quite a bit of cover. Go right down that ridge line to the second to last loop. We'll go to the side and you want to find the midpoint. You want to pull it out, creating tension from both the rear as well as the peak. Repeat on the other side. Looking at the shelter from the rear, it's basically a triangular wedge, very reminiscent of a plow point. Around to the front. We've got two flaps hanging down, creating a door. I have a small carabiner, you can clip them together. So your doors can be flipped over out of the way, or you can pin them out. Not too bad, right? This is the basic setup. You're able to open it up. You know, there's a ton of room in there for one person. You could fly these panels and make it more of a lean-to for hanging out early in the night and just, you know, stake it off out front and then close it up when you're ready to turn in. For one person, I think it's a great setup option. I love having the open tarp shelters and enjoying nature, but when the weather is not ideal and I don't want to run a fire all night, being able to make a tent that you can close off is really advantageous. This setup right here with the three by three would be enough for one person. If you want to get more room out of it, check this out. Take it all the way to the last loop. You're basically going to do the same thing. You're coming to the midpoint of the side. So there we have version two with the 10 by 10. Much more room. Very similar to a plow point from the rear of the shelter. If you wanted, you could actually run a guy line on the back center of the tarp and fly it to give it a little more space. All right, that's two versions with the 10 by 10. Let's take a look at the 15 by 15. The peak of the shelter ends up being about seven feet tall on this one, so way more space. Just follow the ridge line about two thirds of the way back. And then I'm going in one loop.
pulling pulling tight from the stake, pulling tight from the peak. Pretty cool, right? It's absolutely massive on the interior. There's room for, for four people on the inside of this. There's a ground sheet for half of the shelter. And once again, these can be flied out. To me, it reminds me of a Finnish Lou. That was part of my inspiration when I was working on this. It has a door. The Finnish Lou is basically a plow point type shelter. They all often use a plow point and call it the Lou but they make specific tarps. They're kind of teardrop shaped. They wrap around the bottom, just like this. Maybe a little bit more circular and then have a high peak that you can have a campfire in front of. I dig it. I think it's really important to be able to have a couple good solid tarp pitches if you're doing this kind of stuff that you can fall back and rely on. For me personally, having an enclosed shelter is a huge bonus in terms of keeping my body heat and staying protected out in the wild. So this doesn't take a lot of time or materials. This setup used six tent stakes and a piece of paracord to tie off to the tree. You can do it once again with trees, with bipods, with a trekking pole, whatever you want. But gives you a lot of flexibility. You could do this out in the open. You could do it in a dense forest and, you know, get a lot of cover both overhead and with the tent itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you got any questions, just let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone.